cracker. It's a crispy cracker. Hello, my Hello Kitty fans. This is Hello Gabius, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and like this video. In today's video, we have a new Baksu box. Received it yesterday, and I will try to make this video as short as possible. There's always a lot of goodies inside these Baksu boxes, and um, I'm just very curious as to what I'm gonna find. So this is the package. I absolutely love the way Baksu sends their packages. It's wrapped, so it's not gonna get dirty. The boxes are small, and I think that also helps to prevent that they don't get smashed in the shipping process, which is a good thing. Now, I have not seen any other Boxu videos. I wanna be totally surprised as to what I get. So let's go ahead and start opening it up. This is the box now. And it does say the Moonlit Magic Box. So that's very interesting. Uh, the best flavors for the best of friends. So I really like the label here or this color for the box. Really cool. And I do see Choco Cat here. And the rest of the other Sanrio friends. Really cute. And the box itself looks pretty usual as I've been getting them. This is the third box. The boxes look pretty much the same. And I do apologize, there's so much construction outside. This is the box, looks somewhat the same. And this is the brochure or the little, um, uh, manual that you'll get to explain everything that you are getting and so this is the friend's guide volume 3 moonlight magic really cute so i can't wait to see what the actual uh, keepsake item is and off the bat i do see that we have some stickers how cool is that really cute stickers Cool, so I guess for item number one, we have some stickers. Then we have this postcard and it is telling us about the Boxu box itself and it does say happy harvest season. It's just telling us about the moon festival that is being celebrated. And it is telling me that my next box is going to be in October. So I should be getting six total boxes for my subscription. So it's every other month. So I got it for August and the next one would be for October. Cool. And then we do have our paper coaster and I really love these. Definitely keepsakes. I don't think I'm going to actually use them, but they are so pretty. Really love the color. And we do have another sticker. So this one is a round sticker. And so comparing it to the other stickers that I have gotten already, really cute, really pretty. So now this is the third item then. So our first item, the paper coaster, and now one circle, big circle sticker. That's three items. And I mean, off the bat, guys, look at what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of goodies here. So here, so I am not sure exactly. So if this is just to puncture holes or what exactly is this? But it is being held by like a elastic thread here and it, she does have some goodies so let me open this up and see what this is so i don't know if this is something that has to make noise or it does say sanrio uh 2017 so it's not like a new thing um, but it was clamped onto these little candy. They look like maybe little gums. 
And if I look at the actual brochure, let me see if it's even listed in here. Here it is. So here it says that it's a pom pom purine castanets and chewing gum. So this is what you call a castanet and it is used for like a clapping sound. And um, Otsukimi, the moon festival, historically have music, so clap along with a new pom pom purine castanet. So uh, you are supposed to use it like this. Cool, and it does say that it does come with colorful chewing gums as a tree, and that is what this is. Little tiny gums in here. Chewing gums, really cute. I really like that. Cool. So next item or set of items, I do see that it's like a little coin purse and an actual like little pouch. On the magazine, it does say that it is a designer pouch and coin purse. Cool, hand wash only. Let's go ahead and open up the coin purse. Really cute and it does have pom pom purine again. And here is pom pom purine taking a break. And it does say boxu. Again, guys, I'm so sorry for the construction that's happening outside. And we do have pom pom purine here. We do have the label boxu mini clasp. The copyright date here, it does say 2023. So that's good. So it is an actual new, new item. So this little coin purse, it's just a typical little coin purse. It's yellow inside. Cool. And then the next item is the pouch. And it is made with the same like canvas like material that the coin purse is. Zipper closure. And it is pink lined inside. Really cute. It does not have that awful plastic smell, so that's good. I really like the design. Cool, so we do have a coin purse and a pouch. So this is the custard pudding mochi, and according to this, uh, this month is a very soft and very round, just like pom pom purine. And so they're supposed to be sweet. And so let's go ahead and try them. Really small, really cute, petite. So this is the little mochi here. Oh my God, this feels so squishy. Mm. And this is inside. And um, it does taste really, it's really chewy. Very, very light, almost non-sweet flavor, but that's my palate. So this is a custard pudding mochi. Ooh, next item, guys. Look at how cute is this? This is exactly the kind of packaging that I want to see with Baksu. So this is obviously like a little Hello Kitty wafer. Um, and it does say Sanrio 2020. <clears throat> According to Baksu, they're not old. They're very fresh items. Although that's something that I can never tell with uh, this writing here. Uh, either way, as far as the magazine, it says that this is a Hello Kitty Monaka Sweet Red, red Bean Azuki. It's supposed to be a sweet flavor and they even encourage you to put it like on your cup. Uh, so let's see what, what this is. Let's see how this tastes. I really like the packaging. So this is the Hello Kitty wafer, but then it also comes with, oh my goodness, what is this? So it's giving you, I guess, like instructions, and I'm glad that they also come in English. So it says you have to fill in the savory wafer with a sweet filling, and then you can 
hook it on the side of your cup for a cute look so it is an empty wafer and this is like the red bean filling and this is supposed to be sweet let me open up the little hello kitty wafer So this is the Hello Kitty wafer. How cute. Oh yes. So you do get the two halves and then this is where you're going to pour the red bean filling. And then you put them together and you can put them on a cup or something. And I will do that at a later date, but how cool is that? I absolutely love this. Next item, sweet potato cookie. This one is a Yakimo cookie. It's a Choco Cat inspired cookie. It's supposed to be a sweet flavor. It's a buttery uh, cookie, roasted Japanese sweet potato. So that is what these are here. And so let's go ahead and taste it. Good. It just tastes like a bland cookie. I don't really taste much sweetness, not really potato, but these are the Japanese flavors, so. But these are the sweet potato cookies, two of them. Next item are black sesame rice crackers, and they are triangular per the packaging. As far as the magazine, it's a Gomano black sesame rice cracker. They're supposed to be savory and have a nutty flavor with a crisp, texture and this is inspired by Kiki and Lala the little twin stars so let's go ahead and open them up and see what they look like really cute so it's a typical rice little cracker very crispy really good these are really good good item our next item is a pie and it's a little hefty. I'm assuming that it's going to be sweet. And here's the date, October. I think it says October 8th, 2023. So it's still very fresh. It looks very fresh. And this is according to the manual, a Mori no Madeline apple. So it's supposed to be like a little soft bake, little uh, apple pie. It's sweet and tangy apple jam from Amori Prefecture in the middle. And let's open it up and see. It is sealed very well. And it's, I mean, it feels very fresh too. Very, very soft. Mm hmm oh yeah very good light tasting just so perfect for a light little snack with your coffee or your tea really good I think so far this is one of my favorites this little apple little cupcake okay next are two little cookies um, and according to the manual are mayonnaise okaki and this is a pumperine inspired goodie they're supposed to be savory and it says that they're crunchier than the fall leaves and sprinkled with mayonnaise for a totally unique taste so on the picture you do see the cookie with some mayonnaise on it so i'm not going to try it like that and i'm assuming that it's just going to be a regular cracker rice cracker so we get two of these okay these are the Kanako Mochi Senbei. They're supposed to be sweet. They do have a sweet flavoring. Really good. And it says Hello Kitty loves the pretty packaging of these delicate rice crackers. And um, they have a nutty flavor, roasted soybean and sugar while they laugh all night long. Okay, so, and it does have a sweet flavor really i mean it's just so different all these snacks always come in different shapes and sizes and they are really cute really really good next item uh um, it's a cookie it must be some kind of cookie you see the expiration date here 
and it says milk so are they filled with something the brochure says that they're the zuki no minamu milk manju these are made to look like moon's reflection on the water and it says fact choco cat loves these combinations of the availability sweet manju cake with rich ragano milk and white bean paste so inside should be some white bean paste and they are sweet so let's try it out and we only get one of these i believe or two oh yeah we get two of these Ooh, it feels really soft really pretty Ooh. Mm. it's really fresh I'm not getting much of a paste in there but it tastes good and I taste the sweetness but again I wouldn't be able to tell exactly what kind of sweetness it is it's just very light tasting but it is perfect for coffee and tea so we have two of these milk manju cookies. So now we have some handmade Japanese hard candy. And I do love this packaging. This is black sesame flavor. And this one is the Hello Kitty Tao Candy Black Sesame Crunch. They're supposed to be sweet. So let's go ahead and try it. And these little packaging does have that Ziploc closure. And it, these are like the little candy towel, like it states on the description. So I'll try one. Hmm. Wow, how unique. They're not hard, hard candy. You can bite into them right away. And you do get the sesame flavor when it's surprisingly good because they you, they do have like a slight sweetness to them too so unique all these snacks are like combinations are just so so unique so this is the handmade japanese heart candy then we have a similar packaging for hello kitty this is an authentic japanese rice cracker the flavor is curry and this one says it's a, it is a savory cracker and it is a Hello Kitty Soku Senbei Japanese Curry. I totally apologize if I'm just butchering these names, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and try them. Love the packaging. Really tiny. Mm -hmm. Really good. Really savory. I will say that the savory snacks have more flavor to me than the what are supposed to be sweet snacks. Next are some Hello Kitty hard candy and love the packaging. You do see Hello Kitty here. This looks like it could be like for an Easter candy because she's a little bunny. And then this one is another hard candy. And I believe it could be maybe apple flavor. So these are the Hello Kitty Candy Sweet, and they could come in Ramun Soda, Peach, Lemon, and Apple Flavor. So I'm assuming this is the Apple Flavor. And this one, I am not sure, but it's yellow. It could be lemon. It could be the lemon flavor. I'm not going to open them because they're just typical hard candy. Um, but guys love the packaging. This is what I like to see in these boxy boxes. Ooh, next is something that it is wrapped. Mm, look at this, guys. So two cookies that have an image printed. One is from Pom Pom Perrine, And the other one is Hello Kitty. How cool. <clears throat> and I have so much crumbs on my desk right now. So these are the Hello Kitty original Langu de Chat sweet potato cookie. They're supposed to be sweet 
and the colorful design is of Pom Pom Purine and Hello Kitty. And it says, enjoying Otsukimi festi festivities, make this an adorable autumn treat. So these are buttery cookies. I'm not gonna open them because I think I've already tasted them in previous boxes, but I just love the images for these cookies. So we do have two buttery cookies. And then lastly, we have, I think these are like corn puffs. This is the Zakumaro corn puffs cheese flavor. I mean, they do look like Cheetos, right? So obviously they are a savory snack. These are my little Twin Stars inspired snack. I'm not gonna open them, but I already know they're gonna taste great. They expire till next year, that's a good thing. And I know that the savory snacks absolutely do not disappoint. Well, that is it for my box, guys. I got a lot of awesome snacks. So my thoughts for this box, I think that this box does have more um, Hello Kitty or Sanrio designs for their packaging. So these we have seen since the first box, this kind of packaging, which I love. But I'm seeing more items with Hello Kitty designs like these candy. I like these imprinted cookies that have Hello Kitty. The wafer cookie, Hello Kitty. This is an awesome find here. Um, I do love what they're including for Sanrio, this little clapper. And of course, the stars, which is a little pouch and the coin purse. That is Sanrio. So I feel like they are including more items that are uh, have images of Sanrio and friends of Hello Kitty. And of course, you can't forget about these stickers. These are a win-win always. And the paper coaster, always a win-win. So I really, I am very happy with this box because they are including a lot more Hello Kitty inspired items, more Sanrio and friends items. That is also very, very cool. Love it. I do keep the boxes and depending on the packaging, like this packaging, I didn't really uh, tear it up too much. I think this is something that I can definitely keep with these instructions. Look at that. This is definitely a keepsake here, guys. I absolutely love it. I really love this month's Boxu Box, the Moonlit Magic Box. If you have not subscribed to the box to box um, if you're okay with light tasting sweet snacks, you're going to love this box. I am more of a very intense sweet tasting snacks. box to box is not that box. These are Japanese snacks and they don't have that intense sweetness flavor. But on the savory snacks, they do not disappoint. I really, really love more, I want to say, the savory snacks than the sweet snacks, but only because they're not intense sweetness. I really love this box. I hope that you enjoyed this box. Let me know what was your favorite item. This was my favorite item, obviously. Um, but as far as the snacks themselves, I want to say that this is my favorite. I can't wait to fill it up with the soybean, with the red bean paste and see what it tastes like but i want to say that this is my favorite edible item and my favorite tangible item here let me know what was your favorite item and let me know if you subscribe to the box who box and what do you think of the box who box for this month i want to thank you so much for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.